You obviously know who I am now. I'm Pete, and I'm your guitar tutor, probably. And if I'm not, I'm here to try and help you as a complete beginner to understand a few chords. Um, please check out the other videos in which you can learn some major chords. Today, I'm going to be covering two minor chords for you, okay? And that is likely to be E minor and A minor. So just the two of them. Uh, you might well remember before that we've covered the C, the A, the G, the E and the D all in the major form. Uh, for minors, with this particular one, um, we tend to cover just, just three of them. Okay, So I might well show you the D minor if I have time also. But the G minor and the C minor chord we're going to leave out for now. Okay, As a complete beginner, we um, or I particularly give those a miss because there are other slightly more involved fingerings for those. So don't worry about it. It's not as if I've forgotten about them, but we cover them later on. Okay, So E minor, let's have a good look at this. Easiest way to remember this chord is that if you've gone to the trouble of learning your E major, which is this chord, all you simply do to make it minor is to lift off your index finger. Okay? So, easiest way to remember E minor is that it's an E major with your index finger left off. Then you still play every single note. Okay? So, looking at this, we're going to start with the bottom E string. Okay? This is known as the root note. I've been telling you a little bit about this. The root note is usually the name given to the lowest sounding note in the chord and it's often the first note that you play. And uh, it's this very note that gives the chord its name usually. So here we are with an E root note, which is why it's called E minor. Uh, and we're going to play. Mm, quite dramatic sounding. Let's have a look at what we're doing. Well, we play the bottom E, then we play second position, second finger, and we're going to be playing on string 5. Then we've got third finger, and that's going to be in position 2, and that's going to, all, uh, to actually be on string number 4. Okay? And then the others you just let ring open. So you just play them as they are. And there's your E minor. Okay? Good. Hope you got that. What's that I hear you say? You want to learn A minor? Okay, let's give that a go then. So guess what the root note is of A minor? That's right. Yeah, it's A. So we're going to start from our open A string. Okay? So we're not going to clonk the E. We're going to leave that one out. And to help you remember your A minor shape, I tend to think of A minor as an E major shape just moved down one place. Yeah? So think of it like that. If you know your E major, just move down one place, turns into an A minor. Just remember though you're playing the A root note, which is the open string. So let's have a listen. Yeah, good sound. We are playing the fifth string, which is the open A. Okay. Then we're going to be looking at position two, and that's string number four and we're going to be using our second finger. Then we have position two and we're going to be looking at string three and that's with our third finger. Then we have our index finger in position one and that's playing string two and then the top E is ringing out open. There you have it. And I'll tell you what we do as you've been so good, we are going to take a look at D minor, and therefore in this video you would have covered all of your three minor shapes, okay? By the way, I hope that your acoustic guitar lessons are going well. I know that some of the people that I teach are doing extremely well. Your electric guitar lessons are improving. So I hope that some of your videos uh, that you watch in, on the internet, and there are thousands, there are tons and tons, Hope you find time to watch some of these because they are very basic but actually important if you're just starting out. So we're going to learn D minor and then finish with that, okay? So, because it's D something, in this case D minor, our root note is going to be D. So we're going to be playing the open D string, okay? Which is called string number four as well. Then our um, second finger is going to be in position two 
and we're going to be playing string number three. Then we have finger number three in position three and that's string number two. Then we have our index finger which is position one and we're playing string number one. So here it is a little closer for you. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to give that a strum and finish at that. Good. Hopefully you get some enjoyment out of your minor shapes. They're really good to have in contrast to your majors. I'm going to leave it here for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you've got something from that. And I will catch up with you real soon. See you then. Thanks. Bye.